Are you running your life? Or is your life running you? Whichever way it is, we're running. We just can't seem to stop. Stop, Balance, Go. This is the show that's going to prove to you that you don't need to sit on top of a mountain in the Himalayas or do eight hours of yoga postures each day in order to find balance in your life. My name is Cassie Schindler and I'm your host. Each episode, I'm going to show you the fantastic and the everyday things that, it, that can help you de-stress and find some semblance of what they call balance. Today, I'm at Sanders Automotive in Belmont, California. This is not where I come to find balance. It is, however, where I come to get my car repaired. Kind of an everyday thing. This is the sad little baby right here. And I'm just waiting right now to get my estimate. Did you ever have one of those days where everything seems to go wrong? The roots on your hair need dying, but your appointment isn't until next week. Your car like acts up on you and you need to do stuff like that. And the noise in your life just seems to get more and more and more intense. So much so that you can't even hear yourself think. Today, after I get my car running, I'm gonna take you to a place that shows you an option for getting away from it all in a place where you actually can hear yourself think. I often think about how lucky I am to live in the San Francisco Bay Area. Just moments ago, I was at my automotive repair place thinking about the hecticness of my everyday life and now i am actually left all of that far behind. I'm pulling into the location that I'm excited to share with you today. This is called Stillheart Institute. It's a sanctuary. A place where you actually can still your heart, catch your breath, and find your balance. And we're gonna meet with Debbie Gisoni. And Debbie's gonna take us on a little tour and tell us more about this idea of the individual retreat and here she is hello Debbie hi Cassie welcome good How to see you, you again beautiful crystal I just have to point out yes. that's at the entrance way when you come into Stillheart it sort of sets the stage and I'll tell you every time I come in here I just take a deep breath I don't know what does it to me but something does it's something about being around nature and being in a very secluded environment as well as mm -hmm. just the, the, the energy of the crystals and sort of that Zen atmosphere that's here that mm -hmm. just puts everyone at ease right away. The idea of today's show is about when you find that you need to get away on yes. your own, can you talk about that a little bit and explain what um, Stillheart has to offer in terms of an individual retreat? Sure, absolutely. The individual retreats are for people that really need some time to be quiet, to rest, to do some self-reflection, some self-study, uh, relaxation, and just be away from it all and be quiet. And we just launched the program. We're really excited. Actually, today is our first day we have an individual here. Oh, individual great. Team. We are developing what we call our self-study curriculum, and that will actually take everyone around the various spots in Stillheart and offer suggestions for meditation, for self-reflection, whether mm -hmm. that be out on the trails or whether that be by the uh, pool or right here sitting in front of the crystal. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll give all those kinds of suggestions so people can actually come here and a curriculum will be here for them. Oh, that's fantastic. Completely heated and although it's in, indoors, you really do feel like you're outdoors. The entire back area can be open to the outside as well as the skylight. And the pool is saline. Oh, not chlorine, but saline. No. Wonderful. Oh, it's, it's just around the bend like here. We have another luxurious tree, our hot tub. Oh, very nice. And of course, everything you do here includes the view. 
Yes. Beautiful. Cassie, this is one of our treehouse rooms, and our treehouse rooms are built amongst the trees, as you see. They all have separate entrances, and all of our rooms, both our lodge rooms and our treehouse rooms, have private decks as well, so you can just sit outside in the early morning, late night, and enjoy nature. Wow, this is truly a tree house, and not the kind that I actually am, uh, <laughs> am used to from when I was a kid. No, it's not sticks and, uh, <laughs> and stones. It's an actual tree house. Built to code. <laughs> Very lovely. This one is bliss. You gotta like that. You gotta like it, and you know, words and names have a lot of energy to them, and if you're walking into a room that says bliss, how do you think you're gonna feel? <laughs> right, that's a great reminder, that's right. for sure. This happens to be, Cassie, one of our lodge rooms, and as you can see, there's uh, Julian's artwork is up there as well, as it is in all the rooms. Most of the rooms have two uh, queen beds in them. They're very well appointed. All of the rooms have a private deck, I yeah. love it. Okay, so see, so cool. let me Let's see the bathroom. The, bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the highlight of Stillheart. Oh, it is beautiful. And this look at this so tile. Oh, my. Oh, and there, there I am. I kind of want to live in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. And the beautiful... We have these very deep, deep, deep um, soaking tubs. Mm -hmm. You can just, just cover your whole body in them. Okay, and then you just open up this window mm -hmm. while you're soaking in the tub. Here's the dining area at Stillheart. I think there's enough room in here for you to find a place to sit and enjoy your dinner, maybe even out on the deck. This is the kitchen where you can make your meals that you can bring for yourself. Whatever your little heart desires, you can keep in the little refrigerators and the big walk-in refrigerator if you've got some really big meal in mind. You can certainly do some quiet reading and sitting in the library. Around every little corner in every nook and cranny you're going to find some beautiful piece of artwork or something that is going to soothe the senses like this absolutely gorgeous stained glass wall. The great room is truly a great room. It sure <laughs> is. It's so, so beautiful. In. This is our largest meeting space. These are truly magnificent These were chandeliers. These by a glass blower and made specifically for Stillheart. And to me, they, they remind me of sea urchins. They're just so beautiful. They do. Said anything can be rearranged in this room. Uh, we've got a piano here. We've also got some African djembe drums. Mm -hmm. If you want to do a drumming circle or something musical, there's an outdoor deck that surrounds the room as well. And this becomes a common room for all guests after 6 p.m. for all groups. Here's another one of Julian's beautiful artwork pieces. And up here we have our Kuan Yin statue. This is just breathtaking. And this is a particularly beautiful day, although it's always beautiful out mm -hmm. here. Even when it's raining outside, it's beautiful out here. Yes, just but, put on the fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is truly within nature that we can find ourselves, that we can get back in touch, that we can take out the noises of our everyday life and listen to our own thoughts, listen to our own heart. so much. I enjoyed this tour of Stillheart today and I enjoyed exposing this as another option for people to come for an individual retreat to invite balance into their lives. So if you want to know more about the individual retreats and take another st uh, Stillheart tour, which there's one put to beautiful music on the site, go to stillheart.org and you'll be able to find the contact information there as well. Okay, we did it. We stopped, we balanced, and now I have to go. So tune in next time when I will bring you yet another option for bringing balance into your life. Until then, be well.